and welcome back to Hoovian Espresso and today we're going to be doing another collection update video um, to do with the stuff that I've got in June and July. This is mainly from sales and charity shops for the most part but there's some stuff here that I think might be interesting that I picked up including some of the more recently released Doctor Who magazines and comics and some books as well. I'm not going to be including season 24 mainly because I've just done an unboxing of it and also I'm planning a video which might involve sort of uh, DVDs and Blu-rays in the imminent future so we'll get back to that again in the for in, the, in the near future. Okay so anyway let's get on to the video. <laughs> we're going to be looking at some sort of figurines and some plushies from the 13th Doctor's era which I picked up. Um, these were sort of like impulse purchases, mainly the first one because it was on sale in Forbidden Planet and I've been wanting one of these for ages. I was so pleased when I saw this was on sale because I've only ever seen it in the store for like £20 and then I managed to wait. I've waited, I think this came out like three years, like two years ago when roughly just a little bit after, when Series 11 was airing I think it came out and it was like £20 and I was so myth that was so expensive um but now i've waited two years three well nearly three years and i got it for 2.99 so i thought for the forbidden planet i mean for kawaii titans as well i loved these kawaii titans i don't think they took off though because i only did one wave and i really loved the 13th doctor the way she looks as a kawaii titan is adorable so i wanted to pick one of them up when i saw it in the sale there's a couple of other things i picked up in that forbidden planet sale which we'll get to later this, interestingly, was a charity shop find and I was quite surprised to see it because um, I don't think I've seen any of these in the UK. It's not in the greatest condition, but I thought I'd show you anyway. But I've got this, which is a Doctor Who sort of enamel pin with a super bits from 720. Uh, um, the people who actually made the American version of the Sonic Screwdriver. So I can only assume that the people who bought this um, went to San Diego Comic Con. So that was interesting um, to find in a charity shop. I didn't really expect it. So it was a San Diego Comic Con exclusive, which I don't think I've got many in my collection. In fact, I think this is the only one. It came with a little 13th Doctor pin, which I thought was adorable. That's the main reason I got this, to be honest, because the tire just looks a bit whack, not going to lie. Um, I love how fuzzy it looks, though, I have to say. And, of course, it's got that Season 11 packaging design, which I quite like, actually. And then you've got a preview of some of the other plushies, and I can't say I was particularly enthralled by any of these. I just really wanted that pin, to be honest, because I really love the the pin. The designs look great. I just don't think they look great as plushies. But yeah, anyway, I love the TARDIS and the and the sort of just, I know that lots of people didn't necessarily like this design of packaging that much, but I quite liked it. I love how colourful it is. They so got the Doctor Who logo and stuff there too. So yeah, that is a sort of random assortment of plushies and figurines and. We're going to move on to the stack of books that I got, um, mainly for all from one charity shop, I'm not going to lie, but they were all, I got quite a decent deal for them, I think. So we'll get, uh, we'll have a look at them next. First of all, a book that I wasn't originally intending to get, but I picked it up because I saw that the author of this, Jacqueline Rayner, um, was going to do a book signing for a charity that was supporting her mum when she had cancer and I thought I'd order the signed book plate and then obviously because I ordered the book plate I had to then go buy the book <laughs> because I wanted to know what was going on here like I am I intended to get this eventually because I love the idea of Doctor Who and Wizard of Oz combining and that cover of Missy on the cover with the, with the hat is iconic um although I have to say she's barely in it in fact a slight spoiler for the book, got creaky floorboards, um, is that obviously I will give you plenty of time to click away if you want to, but the slight spoiler is that she thinks it's the Rani, and I was kind of disappointed that it wasn't the Rani, to be honest. But, I mean, I love Missy, and I think she interacts really nicely with the 13th Doctor as well. I wish she'd been used a bit more, but I loved the overall story quite a bit, actually. So, yeah, that was a nice book that I picked up. I didn't originally intend to pick it up, but... I picked it up anyway. The next lot of books I got entirely from charity shops, as you can probably tell from how old they are. But here we go. This one I have read. A lot of them I haven't gone read to reading yet, round to reading yet, because there's a lot of them. Um, 
Again, this is the Slovene in Excursion by Simon Gurria. I really loved this cover art, the Slovene, and I saw this one first, and I was like, I have to get this because of the Slovene on the cover. I was in an Oxfam bookshop, and I thought, why not? So yeah, that's the first of the books I got in bookshop recently. Um, we got this, Quick Reads, by Terence Dix as well, which I, ha I remember having like once upon a time, but I got rid of loads of my books, and I'm starting to try and collect them again from charity shops and stuff. Which is like uh, another reason why I haven't got any really big finish CDs is because I spent a lot of books in the last month. So yeah, another book that I picked up is Nuclear Time. I don't think I ever picked any of the Matt Smith book books up at the time. I used to have a lot of the David Tennant ones, but not so many of the Matt Smith ones. So I'm looking forward to reading these as well. Another one from the Matt Smith era is The Forgotten Army and The Night of the Humans and this one apollo 23 which has always fascinated me because the i always thought the astronaut looked like he was wearing holding not wearing a subway but he's holding a sub from subway but yeah anyway um all those hardback books not including that one i got that one separately all those hardback books with um including the dave Tennant one i got for 10 pounds in total which i thought was a great deal in a charity shop as well so i i nabbed these usually i don't like to just impulse purchase unless i'm in a charity shop and then i'm just like okay time to time to buy up all the doctor who stock but yeah anyway there is my doctor who books that i bought for this month now on to comics usually this is just like one missy comic or maybe two last time i think it was because i'd waited a long time in between the collection videos but this time as i mentioned there was a sale on forbidden planet and I managed to get one of these in store and then I got two online as well. Because they were like two ninety nine each. And they're huge. Like, they're really heavy. And I thought two ninety nine for three volumes of Doctor Who comics is great. So I picked them up. I, I think I spent a bit too much on reading material this month, to be honest. Um, I'm still working my way through it. I haven't read this one yet. And that was the first one I got. But these look lovely. I've never seen any... I've never read any of the IDW comics. Only like the Titan ones and the Doctor Who magazine one. I have to say the artwork on this one is slightly questionable. But I'm looking forward to reading it anyway. There's a picture of the Doctor that I just thought looked strange. If I can mind it. Where he's just sort of... Oh, there he is. So if we go here... He's just got this... What the hell is going on there? Uh, but yeah, anyway, I picked that up for two ninety nine. They were all two ninety nine, I think. Um, so yeah, those were the comic book sort of IDW ones. I also picked this one again up in a charity shop. Um, I don't can't remember how much I paid for this one, but I got it in a charity shop. I was quite pleased with it. And it was quite good actually. I got to get introduced to I think it's is it Gabby? I think it's Gabby, and she's quite good. I've I've read some of her comics before, but like I've never actually like like seeing how she met the doctor so that was something exciting that i wanted to do as well and then there's the obvious missy comic for this month which is a lot an interesting cover i have to say with missy staring at tea with the 12th doctor sonic screwdriver meanwhile the doctors are trapped in jars i don't know how you could analyze that i'm sure there's some way of analyzing that that you probably could analyze that as being i mean maybe she's got them in her jar ready to make a lovely vital organ soup now finally we arrive at doctor who magazines and we've had two this month we've had a bookazine and of course our regular doctor who magazine issue 566 this is the thasmin cover for this month which i'm very excited about i ship thasmin if you don't know um but so it's nice to see them get a cover even if it's not official and in the show but it's a very interesting interview with them as well. I really thought some of the questions they picked were really nice as well. Um, it was interesting getting their thoughts and stuff as well. Um, there was other, some other stuff in this issue which I think was quite cool. I can't remember. Quite There was some stuff about cassettes and stuff which I thought was really interesting as well. And a review of Time for Itch, which I'm going to in August as well. So that's exciting. And I think there's a review. Is there a review? There's some stuff on season 24 in there probably somewhere. But I haven't had a look. Well, I did have a look. I just can't remember. But yeah, there's the issue. I love this cover. I really love this photo shoot they did with them. And I think it's a yellow background. They posted one for International Women's Day as well. So I love this photo shoot. And I think they should release all the pictures. But yeah. Anyway, that's this month's Doctor Who magazine. Another issue of magazine we got this month was the Doctor Who Chronicles 1975. And um, we got Tom on the cover there. 
and a, a various array of monsters there, including K1, aka Robotern's favourite, and the Wurin, the Zygon, and Davros, of course, and this 1975 and very 70s italics there as well. And I love how it's all rimmed in silver and everything. I love the spine. The spine just says 1975. It's just so empty, apart from the Dot 2 Chronicles at the top. And then on the back, you've got an array of images, including one colourised by Clayton Hickman on Twitter, I believe. It's so lovely looking photographs from that one. And it's really good at immersing you. I know someone said this on Twitter. It's really good at immersing you in that year by going through all the episodes and featuring loads of really cool photographs. I mean, look at how gorgeous that photograph looks in print as well. And it's just, it's just amazing. I mean, you've got, got a Bohemian Rhapsody spoof there as well. And it's just so much interesting facts. I think the most interesting fact I learned from this is that the person who made the score for Revenge of the Cybermen also created the Bananas in Pyjamas theme song, which I thought was quite humorous to me anyway. So yeah, that is what I got in terms of June, July for Doctor Who merch this week. Uh, month, not week. Ugh my mind anyway so yeah that's basically it for this month i hope you enjoyed this video um there's an exciting video coming next week which i hope you guys will enjoy as well as i will hopefully making it at some point and hopefully that'll be out around the same time next week so yeah thanks for watching and goodbye <laughs>